Hi there, everybody. How are you today? So today's reading lesson, we are going to read Djibouti, the tortoise, and this is from the Amazon. Okay, so the rainforest. I love the colors in this book. Djibouti the tortoise played a song on his flute. His shell was smooth and shiny. His music wove through the tangled vines and floated above the treetops. All the creatures of the rainforest listened to his song. For some, Djibouti's song was sour. Jaguar could remember when Djibouti tricked him into chasing his own tail. Lizard could remember when Djibouti tricked him into giving Djibouti a ride on his back. Ooh, so he doesn't, it's not always a sweet song. Sometimes it's a sour song. Two tricks right there, right? Tapir could remember when Djibouti tricked him into a tug of war with whale. Hmm, who do you think won that one? But the birds of the air loved Djibouti's music and they sang when he played, all except Vulture, who could not sing at all. He was jealous of Djibouti and waited for the day when he could eat the little tortoise. I never knew that a tortoise would be prey for a vulture. There came a time when all the birds of the air were invited to a festival in heaven. The king of heaven called them together to sing, to rejoice, and to receive his blessing. When Djibouti saw the great gathering of the birds, he wanted to go too. I want to play my flute for the king of heaven, he said. Vulture laughed at him. I may not be able to make music for you, said Vulture, but I can spread my wings and soar all the way to heaven. Take me with you, Djibouti pleaded. Vulture saw his chance. Climb on my back, little friend, he said. Vulture spread his dark wings and rose up in the air. Djibouti held tight to Vulture's feathers as they flew high above the treetops. The dense forest and the great river stretched out far below. They had almost reached heaven when Vulture suddenly swooped and turned upside down. Djibouti lost hold of Vulture's feathers and slipped off his back. Djibouti went tumbling down through the sky. The earth came rushing toward him and he cried out, twigs and bushes, flowers and trees, move aside, make way for me. All the plants and trees of the forest spread apart to make way for Djibouti, but he had forgotten to call to the rock. Djibouti came down on it with a crack and his smooth, shiny shell broke into pieces. At that moment, the music of the festival in heaven stopped. The king of heaven looked down and saw Vulture joining the other birds. Where is Djibouti? asked the king of heaven. Vulture shrugged. How would I know, he answered. Djibouti wanted to play for me and you offered to bring him here, said the King of Heaven sternly. Tell me where he is. Vulture turned away from the King of Heaven and hid his head beneath his wing. Toucan, macaw, and hummingbird found Djibouti. He was lying helplessly in the forest. His beautiful shell was broken. The birds gathered the pieces and patched him together. When they were done, Djibouti played a song of thanks for them, and where the, where the birds had touched Djibouti, they each took a new color. Toucan got a red and yellow beak, 
macaw bright orange feathers, and hummingbird an emerald green belly. Vulture stain, stayed the same dull color. He still can't sing. Djibouti the tortoise plays on his flute. His music weaves through the tangled vines and floats down from the treetops. His shell may be cracked and patched, but his song is sweet, at least to some. Who is it not sweet to? Okay, and that is today's fairy tale. So I'm gonna come back in two seconds with the, um, we're gonna fill on the chart with Djibouti and talk so that you have a pretty, I'm hoping an easy time answering um, today's writing about reading.